such a ten moment. Yeah. Oh, you just look fabulous, my dear. What a gift for us to get to connect. Thank you. Okay, well, let's do a workout together. So call your life play on a scale of one to five. How are you feeling right this moment? Four, excellent. Okay, tell me about some 10 moments that you've been having. Today or this week? Whatever you want. Um, today, I went to my mom's college, and we went to the bookstore. I got to see her softball stadium and the football stadium, and my dogs came with. Oh, love that. And this week, I did a lot of cleaning, which I really like. Yeah, doing. love, love, love that. What do you want to name your collection of tens? Um adventures. Ah, oh, beautiful. Okay, well, tomorrow you have quite the adventure, right? Tell us about the adventure that you're going on tomorrow. Yeah. Um, I'm going to a football camp, and it's like instructed by a football player, Aaron Jones, from the Green Bay Packers. And I'm doing it for two days that are three hours. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah. Well, so the reason you and I are having our conversation today is because you wanted to give hope to other people, other kids that are going mm -hmm. for things that matter to them. And so thank you for just being such a champion for you and giving hope to our world. You're already such a great little sports philanthropist at your mm -hmm. age. And so that is such a treat. And so Tell us about how you'd like to give hope to other people that are other kids your age that are going for what they want in life. Um, never give up no matter what anyone says. Um, if people are trying to encourage you and um, if they're giving you good advice, take it. And if they're giving you bad advice, ignore it. Wow. Great winning strategy. And so we have performance barriers. All of us who are going for this champion life, there's things that come up in our life that can really take us off track, like, you know, anxiety or fear or getting hurt. There's just, you know, things that are barriers that get in the way of us being our best self. So what performance barriers have you had come up in your life that you've really worked your way through to become who you are today? Um, I would say... Like in one sport, when I started softball, I was like two years old. I've done it for eight years. And when I started softball, I was really bad at it. And I could never hit the ball. I would always swing or swing at something 50 feet in the air. And I was not the best. And now I just practice a lot more and... Um, I listen to my mom's advice, my coach's advice. I pay attention. Uh, be a good teammate is one of the most important things. And then have fun. And um, don't get stressed in the middle of a game. Oh, I love that winning strategy. How do you keep yourself from getting stressed in the middle of a game? Uh, I think about good things. For football, I think about getting touchdowns and interceptions. Beautiful. And for softball, I think about hitting dingers and for getting stri striking someone out. So what you're doing from a, um, from a forward focus perspective is you're training your brain when it gets nervous or scared or stressed out to think about what you want versus what you don't want. So for instance, that forward focus is thinking about getting a touchdown or something that your brain can say, yes, that's what I want to go for. So what a champion winning strategy you've got there. That's fantastic. So let's talk a little bit about your story. So um, I'll just intro and tell the team. So team, today we're talking with who I call Little E is my nickname for her. And so we're talking to her because she's going for something big in life. 
and it's this weekend and we just wanted to be on her journey as she goes for something that's a little bit outside the comfort zone, but really just about how to honor trying something new. So little E, tell us a little bit about you and your story. Um, for the football side of my story, um, I would say that I started off not really knowing like how to do cuts or um, jukes or running fast, how to pay attention, knowing when my flag is pulled, how to not start off um, time and to really learn how the game works, even though I would watch NFL with my dad every day before that. But um, and I just kept trying, kept working hard, kept catching. I would move on and I started getting football receiver gloves. And that really helped me with catching because my hands would always hurt and it would always make me so mad. And um, I just kept trying, I kept practicing. And once you keep practicing and trying, um, you'll get better and better. And so now I'm better and I know how to do all those things. And you're going to camp this weekend to even go from good to great. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling yeah. about going to camp? I'm super excited. Love it. So tell us a little bit more about your story that isn't just about football. Tell us about you. Um, I was, I'm, well, I started off like, I've always been a little goofy and I would all, I used to have really short hair, but now I've kind of, I'm growing it. So, um, I, I, became, I used to be like a really girly girl when I was younger. I used to love dresses and stuff. And now I'm more of like the shorts and the shirt type. And, um, I've learned to stay away from drama at school because it gets you distracted and from at practices and to just stay and keep your head in the game and to always pay attention in school because school is more important than your sports. Sports come second for me, but school's first. And I think you should also learn to enjoy school like I love school. It's super fun for me to see all my friends and to learn new things and I also love back to school shopping because <laughs> I love getting school supplies and I've made like five lists this year. Wow this is so fun getting to know you. So when you think about when you watch your film in your life and you think about a time that you went for something but you didn't you were scared and you didn't know you'd be very good at it. And then you had the courage to go for it. What strength did you discover about yourself? Um, I think that would be um, going, doing, um, when I wanted to, so when I was in fourth grade last year, I wanted to do sixth grade homework and I was really nervous. I wouldn't get it. I wouldn't get at any of the answers right. And I ended up getting all the answers right. And then I moved up to eighth grade math and I ended up getting a lot better and I ended up getting one of the top things in my class. So that is a beautiful example of how to push past fear and move into fabulous by going for what matters to you. So you and I are talking today to really give hope. So how would you like to give hope to the world? Um, what type of hope? That's my question. Well, what type of hope do you want to give? never give up. Uh, I love that. So this weekend, you're going to go to football camp and you're never going to mm -hmm. give up and you're going to be that champion that you are for yourself. And then we're going to talk again on Monday so that we get to hear all about what you learned at camp and how you were really being able to learn and grow and push past any performance barriers that showed up. Yep. Okay. Anything else you want to talk about? Um, no, I think that's good. Okay, perfect. Call your life play one to five. How are you right this moment? Okay, love it. Well, this was a 10 moment for me to get to talk to you before and it's going to be fun to talk after and hear all about your fun experience.